I don't know who's more excited for this video, me or you guys. I keep getting DMs like, I need a garage declutter, I need a garage declutter organized video. I've had this scheduled forever and I kept moving it back because the weather was not cooling off here in Oklahoma. But we're finally in the mid 80s, so I'm gonna tackle it. I know it looks like I have organization because I did put up a video last year, so if you wanna watch that one, I'll link it down below. But it's just gotten out of control. Like there's too much in these bins. I haven't touched half of these bins, which means we don't need them we always have a supply of like stuff I'm getting rid of stuff I'm donating boxes just with this job there's always projects going on um, I've got this kind of full over here so we've got a lot to get done in today's video I'm gonna start with like decluttering um, like probably just going through these and decluttering all the bins I'm gonna throw not the bins but like the cardboard I'm gonna throw in the back of Chase's truck because we take that often we probably go to the recycling center twice a week so i have to work on that i'll get a load together for donations basically it's just a little bit of everything we're going to be cleaning we're going to be decluttering we're going to be organizing so let's get started When you start a project like this, it can be very overwhelming. So what I've learned to do is start with the small items that you know where they go. So if you see a lot of trash, start with the trash. That's easy to sort through, put it in a trash bag. Maybe it's your cardboard boxes, you need to take them down, throw them in the back of the car or the truck. So just starting with the things that are easy kind of gets you motivated to do the big things. But if you try to go out and tackle that big project at the very beginning, sometimes it's overwhelming and you'll just never get started. Also, getting piles set up will help a lot too. So have like a get rid of pile or a donation pile or a garage sale pile, whatever you're gonna do with them, kind of get those areas set up. So as you start to pull out all the overwhelming clutter, you can just start sorting through it. So keep in mind when you first start this, you're gonna have zero motivation. It's not fun like cleaning up a garage but keep just doing those small little tasks and then you're gonna get bit by the bug and you're not gonna be able to be stopped. You're gonna have so much motivation and it's gonna feel so good when you're finished. So just push through in those low moments, especially at the beginning when you feel a little rusty. So I got all the cardboard put away, but what I wasn't thinking is I should have left those boxes together. So I could have started my like donation pile in them, but this is everything I'm donating. That's the stuff I'm keeping. So I'll deal with it later, but at least I have piles going on um, as I'm decluttering. That mirror has to go too. I just don't want to lean it over here and it get broken. Um, so now we're going to work on this space and then we have to work on this space and then that space. I am so guilty about just getting out of my car and like setting stuff I'm not going to be using for a while over here on Chase's like tool bench or getting in my car when we're about to leave and just taking like our old water cups or just any bags that are in there and I just like set them outside the car or on the tool bench and I think oh I'll get to it later and then sometimes later just keeps getting pushed back more and more before you got in your garage and it's just like full of stuff so I definitely need to get a better system for that. started to work on Chase's like 
pool station, but I thought this probably isn't the best idea. I'm gonna pull him in just so he can put the pieces away where he wants to. So once again, when you have a big project like this and multiple people live in your house, especially if that space has multiple people using it, you kind of have to pull them in so they can work on it. You don't want to move a ton of their stuff because then they can't find what they need and they just know the setup better. So if it's like a garage and your husband has stuff out there or whoever in your family, pull them out there so they can help you as well. Chase is continuing to work on his side of the garage. Basically, those drawers right there, we have organized um, by category. So we have a light bulb drawer and like an extension cord drawer and so on. But a lot of the drawers were just getting too full and we're not going through them. So he was going through all the light bulbs because we only use daylight light bulbs and half that drawer wasn't daylight. So we're not going to use those. So we might as well just pass them on. And then I'm working in that corner back behind him. That's like the most used corner in her garage. I feel like it holds a lot of my cleaning products I use. We have dog food out there. Basically, it gets touched all the time but I hadn't organized it too well so it was nice just to kind of get it under control. I feel like you think you know what you have until you go to like declutter or organize something and then you realize you have so much more and I feel like that's what happened in here. We did a really good job of organizing everything last year when we were getting this garage under control but I don't think I did a good job decluttering. I need to go back and watch that video. I don't know if I decluttered at all. It doesn't feel like I did. I feel like I just bought tons of bins that would fit all the shelves and make it look pretty. And then I just filled them up and then we never opened them again. Now there's some we did. So anything that had like painting supplies in it, um, stuff that I use a lot were put in clear bins and I use those, but all the black and yellow bins really didn't get used too much. All the bottom ones are for like garage sale items or donation items and my mom and sister had a garage sale and I told them I didn't have anything and they were all full like I completely forgot I had been putting stuff in there so while this system looks really good I need to be better about actually opening it up and I think clear tubs look not as nice but they're probably more functional because you can see what's in them and know if that tub's being used. So here's a little update of what's going on. I'm like opening up tubs so I can see like what's inside of them. Are they empty? Are they full? I'm just kind of assessing the damage because this is the part I've been wanting to work on. I knew most of them were full. I knew I wasn't using the items or I would know what's inside of them. So I was just kind of taking inventory of like what are we working with here. So I noticed I had a bag bin and then I had a laundry hamper full of bags. So 
as you're starting to pull things out, it's gonna get overwhelming, so try to group like items together. So when I see all the bags, I'm gonna put them all together. If you see a bunch of tools, put them all together. If you have like cleaning products, put them all together. So that will help when you start to organize it and put it back away. that just because you have things organized and it looks nice does not mean you need everything that's in there. So as I'm going through, I'm trying to find all the empty tubs, I'm putting like things together, but so much of this stuff we didn't even know we had. There was a leftover stuff just from like the Modern Jewel when, when we did that whole flip. Um, I had decorated there for Christmas and we're not gonna need any of that stuff. So just kind of like analyzing everything that's going on, like it looked decent when you walked in my garage, but we weren't using any of it. I was just storing it in tubs. So just be really careful of like what you're keeping just because you have a spot for it and what you're keeping because you're actually gonna use it. I try to talk about this in other videos. I don't care if you're organizing the garage, the shed, the inside of your house, closets, try to display the items, especially if they're items you're using. So think of a store when you walk in and like all the same products are lined up in front of each other, do that. So that way when you're going to the grocery store or you're out there, you can see like, I don't need any more Lysol, I have four bottles, and I don't need any more detergent because I have three. Versus if it's all scattered, you don't know, like are they half empty, do I only have one of them, do I have a backup? So keeping all those products together lets me see all the cleaning products I have and then how much I have of each of them. As I was going through these um, tubs that I had like for sale items in, I noticed it was a lot of the Modern Jewel. You can tell we just like took out the few pieces that we hadn't used or we were using during the project. And even like the Christmas decor, I took it out and threw it in these bins and just never opened it back up. It was just a lot of like extra pillows and sheets and bedding and decor that I was just saving. So when things got dirty over there, I could just switch it out. But then we sold it and I never opened up these tubs. So it's just been sitting here in my garage. I've been storing stuff that I was never gonna use. So that's why I feel like it's very important to declutter once a year, especially garages, sheds, attics like that. I feel like we just cram stuff out there because people don't really see it. And then it just grows and grows and grows. So just be really, really careful and just be very aware. So going through your house once a year can be really smart just so you're not storing clutter and things you no longer need. And just in case you're new here and you're like, what the heck is Modern Jewel? We had bought a house and we flipped it. We were gonna use it as an Airbnb. We ended up selling it, but we have like tons of video of doing a complete reno on this super old home. So if you love watching shows like that or videos like that, definitely go into my channel and watch all those videos because it was really neat to see the transformation. I'm
So I don't know if you're noticing, but all of these tubs were labeled and has labels on them. So if they're empty and going back on the shelf, I'm turning them around so I don't think there's something in there and that's gonna be my system. If they're turned around, I'll have them labeled so I know there's something in that bin. But if it's just solid black on the front, I know they're empty and I can use them for something else if I need them. I also like to store things within things if it's from the same category. So I have all these like ice coolers. Um, instead of taking up the whole shelf or two shelves, I can just put them within each other and then I know to check. So I know there's all different sizes and I just need to open it up to look and it helps save on space. When I buy all of our like paper products from Sam's Clubs, they come individually wrapped and then completely wrapped as a whole. So I like to take them out of that first packaging just so I can see the individual items. I'm not gonna take them out of that plastic because they are out here in like a dusty, dirty garage. But this way, if I need to come out and just grab a roll of toilet paper or paper towels or Kleenexes, I can just grab it and go. I don't have to try to like rip open bags and they're not like torn and looking dirty. I feel like they can look more organized and just on display. Like once again, you'd see at a store if you take it out of that first packaging. When you get to the point you're getting overwhelmed, take a break and kind of go back to those small tasks again. So at this point, you've probably created trash, you probably have stuff everywhere. So you can kind of pull back, reassess, do a few small things, and then go back and tackle that big project again. Just remember, it's okay to not get it right the first time. You may not have organized or declutter in a year. You may have just done it five minutes ago. You're gonna see me move stuff over and over and over because I'm trying to figure out what is going to work best, what is going to function best, what's still going to look visually pleasing because that matters to me. And I pull my car in here every single day. So if we didn't use this garage, I probably wouldn't mind so much, but I'm in this garage several times a day. So I want it to function, but I also want it to look really nice as well since I have to see it. So so it's gonna take a little bit of work to get it there. Don't feel like you watch us on YouTube and it looks like we magically do the right thing the first time. It takes work and I always try to show that in my videos. I move stuff around, we have junk, we have trash, we have all that stuff and it takes a little bit to figure out the best system. Most of all of my outdoor pillows and holiday decor is all up in my attic, but I really love having my like patriotic items down where I can get to them. Chase doesn't have to go up and get them. I'm kind of scared of the attic, so I don't go up there very often. And it's just nice to know when a holiday rolls around, um, I can just grab them and put them out. I feel like it's also just something you can have out all summer long, anytime. So I love just having easy access to all my like red, white, and blue items. That's why I keep them out here on the shelf and not up in the attic with the rest of my stuff. If 
if you're just organizing, you can keep things on shelves and just kind of move them around. But if you're decluttering and you're really wanting to organize and get liked item things together, it's smart just to pull everything off the shelves. That way you can actually see how much you have and what you have. So I know it's a lot easier just to kind of move things around, but if you're really wanting to get the job done and you're wanting to get it done right, take everything off just like I'm doing here. I'm clearing all of this off so I can see what I have. I can check dates. I can see what's empty, what's full, and you really will get more done by clearing it. I know it's a little bit more work, but it's always worth it. somehow so I can tell and you can tell right here I was slowing down like my brain was mush I didn't know what to do so that's when it's really nice to bring in backup so Chase was already out here but I was like hey I need you to move over here with me and help me tackle this so at this point, if you don't have anyone helping you, grab them. Or if they are helping you, have them come over to your space. They might need you later over in their space. And it really does like freshen your mind and they can help you push through so you can get through those hard areas that are giving you trouble. I keep things on shelves then it pretty much looks the same when I'm done but if I'll take things off I actually get more creative I actually like group the items different I display them different and so it just freshens up that space so just keep that in mind like I said you don't have to take everything off if you're not able to but if you can I feel like it really does make a big difference And let's take note of all these extra bins. So if a small bin isn't getting used, I was trying to keep them all together because I don't want to look out here and think everything's full. I want to look out here and be like, wow, look how much extra space I have. And then if I need that bin for something, I know where to go. I know I have an extra bin right here or if Chase or Savannah needs one, they can just go and grab it and use it. Yeah, yeah. Garages can get so dirty, especially the floor. I sweep my floors out here all the time, but when I'm doing a little bit deeper clean, I try to move out some of my cleaning products, any of the pieces I can. Most pieces in the garages you can't move. They're heavy or they have heavy items on them, but if there is any pieces you can move out, go ahead and clean behind them because it's just going to look better when you're finished. I'm going to tell you that I need Just a 
small little tip if you enter and leave through your garage door it's really smart to have a mat because you're walking in just like you'd have a mat by your front door if that's the door you use and then adding a trash can right there has helped us so much that way when we get out of the car and we have any trash we can just throw it away if we're headed out we can throw it away right there it's just a trash can we use all the time even though it's out in the garage so if you have like a trash issue um, especially in your car try to keep a trash can nearby and your kids and your spouses and you are more likely to grab what's out and just throw it away when you're walking into the house Here is a look at everything I was able to declutter. This isn't even like all the trash we threw away of like empty and expired bottles. So this felt so good just to clear out of my garage. My house feels lighter, which means I feel lighter. But now let me show you some clips of how everything looks now that we're finished with it. This feeling, feeling haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Hold me towards you and I cannot fight it My head's underwater, I try to disguise it Want you to hold me, though we haven't spoken I need that something to get me So now that we have all of this cleared out, we're going to go ahead and start putting it in Chase's truck. That way when we go to take all the cardboard boxes, we can go make a huge donation as well. Um, so I used to do a lot of garage sales, but where we live, they're just not as easy because we're a lot further out of town. And I just don't feel like we have the time that we used to, so I love just getting to donate it on. So we're going to take all these pieces so they can get a new home. This is kind of a reminder if you haven't went to your local like Goodwills and stuff, they have good pieces. I can't tell you how much new stuff I donate all the time because I only used it once for a video or I just don't have the space for it anymore or I switch styles. I'm constantly donating good pieces and I know other people do as well. So if you're on a tight budget, go check out those stores because they get really amazing products. Um, it's not just all junk. They do have amazing pieces you can buy there. This makes my heart so happy. Probably happy than it should but I just love being like decluttered and organized this is where we come in our house every single day like I park right here so when I come in and things are cluttered it just like it stresses me out and it controls my mood I feel like way too much so it felt really good to declutter so much stuff so last year when I did this I put a lot of things in bins and once we couldn't see them we weren't using them so we were able to declutter so much stuff that last year I thought we needed so that's why it's 
it's really smart to declutter once a year because you've brought new stuff in, plus there's stuff you've had in your house a while that you thought you were gonna use and you didn't, or I didn't. <laughs> so, so, so happy to have this done. I'll show you this side real fast. It's not perfect because it's still a garage, like it's not Pinterest worthy. Um, I always thought it would be really cool to have things behind doors, but what I'm learning is like when you hide it, you don't use it. So. It's a garage, it's not like super pretty like the inside of my house, but it's functioning, it's decluttered, it's organized, it's clean. So I'm super, super happy with the way it turned out. I'm not gonna lie though, I really wanted to clear out my attic in this video, but it just got a little warm and this honestly took longer than I thought it was going to. I got rid of so much more than I was expecting. So I'll probably do this like closer to winter when it's even cooler out. So if you want me to film that, type attic down below in the comments section, just so I know how many of you will watch. I don't have to film it, that may be a really boring video, but I just have so much like Christmas decor up there and just from like all the projects and like our builder left stuff up there. I honestly rarely ever go in our attics. It's like my husband's space, but when I go up there, I'm like, Holy moly, we have way too much stuff. So if you wanna go in the ceiling with me one day and declutter, once again, just type attic. So I kinda have a gauge if you guys would watch something like that or not. One last thing, if you guys are wondering what this fridge is, Chase's grandma has always had a drink fridge out in their garage and it's so nice when she's hosting because you don't have to ask for drinks. Um, you're not like in the way if they're cooking, you can just run out and grab what you need. And I always wanted one and finally in this house we were able to put one out here. So I just love having this like when friends and family come over or Savannah's friends, I always just tell them where it is and then they can come out here as much as they need and get whatever type of drink they like. I'd like to keep it stocked. Um, and like my mom's always like, you're getting close. You're like, you're almost out of Sprite because that's her drink. So I know to keep that stocked. My dad's like a diet Dr. Pepper. So I keep that in there for him. But that's another reason I like to keep this area clean is my friends and family are like coming out here to get drinks. Now, do they judge me? Maybe just a little, but not a whole lot. And so I just like this space to be pretty. So when they come out to get a drink, obviously it's a garage, but at least it looks somewhat organized and pretty. Now I'm not really touching this side too much because it's just like our golf cart. It's like the outlet where we plug it in, Savannah's bike. So there's not much stuff we can do over there. That's why I was only working on this side. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching today's video. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.